etese. See ya. Sabona unjan. Seta hi. Today I'm expressing my culture and I want to show off my culture. Um, today I'm wearing an African print and it was passed down from my auntie. And I've got my bracelets which I've got from Ghana from the holiday. Hi, my name is Zoe, I'm from South Africa. My tribe is Zili. This is my necklace that represents my culture. I just feel happy to be like that. We're, We're Albanian. My name is Yasmin and I'm wearing um, something called Roba Traditionale. So it comes in like different coins and gold and stuff and it's like kind of traditional because on our flag we have red. I'm also wearing a fustan and I'm also wearing a cape and these are really important to me because I love my culture and I want to express my culture to everyone else. Today we are in Batis. This is a traditional piece of Somali clothing and it's usually worn around the house. This is a dira that is worn on special occasions such as weddings. Takshimash. Konnichiwa. The Chirgi. Kushi I'm wearing a traditional Korean shirt that you usually wear at football matches. I'm wearing a green katan and katans are important because it's been a part of our tradition for a long time. These are usually worn ceremonies, henna parties and engagement parties. This outfit is a kimono, this is an obi and these are getta. They're usually worn to festivals like the summer festival which is referred to as omatsuri which means summer, which means summer festival. I'm wearing a Kurdish dress that is often worn to Kurdish festivals and engagement parties. Assalamu alaikum. Wish Raku. Singa, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Abne Balasin. This is a chimera, but it has other names for it. And um, it's from Morocco, and you would usually wear it in um, at a wedding. And it's really, and it comes in all different colours. And this is just one example of it. I'm wearing an Algerian traditional dress. You'd normally wear it at home or at parties or like Eid and stuff like that. Um, I'm wearing this dress called a Salwar Khamis. And you would usually wear it in weddings or Eid or special events. We're Afghan. This is our cultural outfit. It's really important to us because it's like our traditional outfit and we wear it to weddings and parties and like on Eid and stuff. Assalamu alaikum, here. I'm wearing a shawad kameez and I'm wearing churia, which is usually worn as like in traditional events and like weddings, like nikahs. It's the same. So this is part of a two piece from Ghana. It is kente material. Culture Day is important because it allows students to express their diversity, especially since, you know, England is such a diverse country and it helps us to connect with others. Everyone gets to show other people what they're wearing and everyone gets to learn about other traditions. Culture Day is important to me because you get to express your culture and show people how you feel about your culture. I feel like it's good to express where you're from because um, you can't just tell where someone is just by looking at them and it's a really good way to express um, what's important to you. Cultural day is very important to me because I get to show off all my cultures and I get to see my friends in their cultural outfit. It's really important to show your culture and share where you're from. It's a chance for everybody to express their culture and feel comfortable in their cultural outfit. I think that cultural day is important to me because it's an opportunity to show off your culture and also learn more about other cultures as well as your own. Like an amazing experience to me and I get to learn about everyone's different tribes, different cultures and I just love it. You get to um, dress how you would usually dress for your culture and you can and you feel more accepted into the school. It's a great way to learn more about your culture. Happy culture day from everyone at Haunty School for Girls! Mm -hmm.